What's up everybody, it is Jay here and today we're saying fuck you to all of the YouTube controversial monetization rules and talking about abortion. So I'm talking about abortion because abortion for Ireland is a massive issue and has been a massive issue for years and while I'm kind of late to the party comparatively because of my age, I think that it's an important issue that should be talked about. 35% of my followers on this channel are Irish and to them this is affecting their lives, this can affect their lives, it will affect their lives statistically speaking. Meanwhile, the other 65% of my followers that aren't in Ireland should know about it because it's a violation of human rights and it's wrong. In 1973, uh, abortion was legalised in the United States, which is wonderful. While the law does allow states individually to decide what restrictions and requirements are in place for abortions, in principle, abortions are illegal throughout the United States. Meanwhile, in 1983, in Ireland, we criminalised abortions. People who provide abortions or receive abortions can be given up to 14 years in prison. They can also be they can also be imprisoned for going abroad to seek an abortion. The grounds under which you can receive an abortion in Ireland are limited to when the life of the mother is significantly at risk. That's a very vague statement. What one doctor defines as risk may not be defined as risk by another doctor, and if someone was to attempt to prosecute you based on you giving an abortion to a woman it's quite likely that you could be prosecuted therefore doctors are afraid to give abortions even in the harshest of circumstances and individuals are unable to find doctors who will provide abor abortions in ireland 10 individuals travel to the uk per day in ireland to receive an abortion in 1992 just seven seven years before i was born uh, the X case occurred. A teenage girl under the age of consent was raped and she became pregnant. She sought an abortion in the UK and the Attorney General of Ireland filed an injunction against her to prevent her from seeking an abortion abroad. This is because because of the way the law works it is illegal to seek an abortion abroad even though this girl's life was significantly at risk due to trauma, depression, suicidal thoughts she fit the criteria of who should be allowed to have an abortion yet she wasn't allowed to procure one in ireland regardless eventually this injunction was overturned the girl was able to receive an abortion but to this day it remains one of the most controversial things to have occurred in ireland and at the time this was probably on the same level of things like gay marriage things like trans rights it was just as controversial then as it is now if not more so considering ireland's a country that didn't legalize divorce until my parents were born and a while after that even you can see how a very strongly catholic country can find things like abortion homosexuality trans identities to be very controversial in 2012 and this was the first time i started to hear and learn about abortion in 2012 a woman by the name of savita halapanavar died in an irish hospital she was 31 years old and she was pregnant she died of complications from a septic miscarriage and it has since been stated that she could likely have had her life saved if it wasn't for the fact that she was unable to receive an abortion despite the fact that her life was at risk doctors around her testified to the fact that they were afraid to offer this woman an abortion because they could have gone to prison for 14 years for doing the right thing for saving somebody's life and that's not something that anyone should have to do that's not a decision that somebody should have to make 14 years in prison versus saving the life of a woman she was having a miscarriage her child was going to die her child was already in fact dead there was no way that the life of the child could have been saved yet she was denied a miscarriage because of she was denied an abortion because of the way the law works here in ireland i remember at the time not understanding this why was a woman not given a life-saving procedure just when that was seemingly the only option as to what would keep her alive her child had already died and this child was a wanted child this child was brought into this world on purpose this woman's husband has appeared on tv so many times since and every time i see him i feel so 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 sorry for him because irish law failed him and failed his wife and failed his child in ireland abortion should be legal it should be safe it should be possible to procure an abortion for whatever reason that you may need one, be it risk to your life, be it not wanting to be pregnant, 
you should be able to get an abortion. You should not have to travel to the UK. You should not have to risk jail time. You should not have to risk your own health in an unsafe abortion here. You should be able to receive the adequate health care that you need in your own country. And that's important to me. And it will always be important to me. I have links in the description below to places where you can donate to things like the Repeal the Eighth Coalition, which is a coalition of organizations that are working towards repealing the Eighth. Um, there are badges available. There's the March for Choice on September 24th, which is occurring in Dublin City Centre, if you want to go to that. Um, there are so many places that sell things with repeal on it. Um, the uh, which one is it the abortion rights campaign i think have so many really cool badges i've ordered a few of them they haven't arrived yet but i ordered a few ones that say rise and repeal and they have like a statue of a woman on them they're really cool uh, there's also just repeal.ie which sell these really cool jumpers that just have repeal written on them and they're very minimalistic they're very cool um a lot of the other uh all, a lot of the other organizations sell badges, sell shirts, sell all that kind of stuff. And even if you don't want to buy anything, you can donate. Uh, there is a petition on the on either the abortion rights campaign site or the Repeal the Eighth Coalition site uh, that you can sign if you're an Irish citizen that uh, says that you want to repeal the Eighth. And honestly, it's just a really important topic, in my opinion. Um, it's a really important thing because the fact of the matter is that making abortion illegal doesn't mean it stops happening. It just means that it happens in unsafe ways and it happens in ways that put people through under stress, under trauma and in reality having laws against abortion isn't helping anyone, it's only hurting. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you next time.